Welcome back. Power conduits. Yeah. There's the stairs. Have we gone through the door yet? No. No. Good, good fucking turn the episode on before we're in front of... Damn it. Before we're in front of the door. Well? Guess you gotta watch 30 seconds of me being an idiot. Oh, wait. That was Welcome nice. to the next episode. The door's <laughs> open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, you get to watch. You know, actually, you've just watched like seven and a half hours of me being an idiot. So yeah. if they watch if, this in a row, well, yeah. Let's... If you made it this far, my condolences. Me. Yeah, my condolences <laughs> and my profound admiration. <laughs> uh, there's literally oh, oh. not literally because I don't know, but there's like one guy, one one guy or gal. It's Daniel. It's Daniel. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, there's probably one oh, person yeah. who we don't know who's just sitting somewhere in a bunker. With in a nothing, bunker? <laughs> with nothing, uh, nothing They've else seen I can do. everything on YouTube somehow, aside from this. They are like, finally, new stuff. Oh, damn it. <laughs> More video game video. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. After the last, what was it, Pewdie Plier? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Pewdie Plier Grumps. Fucking Tabus Grumps. Uh. <laughs> I can't tell. Like, those would actually be kind of fun. You think so? To watch, yeah. Actually, I think Markiplier played some games with PewDiePie. Like, Did like he? I think they've been in an episode of, like, um... Let's kill each other. Let our, no, no, no. Let our fan bases duke it out. Man. No, I don't know why... Okay, so here's I'm the thing. i that either, really. It's like well, baseball one, teams. They've, they've played, um... They played like um, similar the, 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 games. Not similar games. I was trying to say the game that they played together, and it's Gary's Mod. Right? They played. Uh -huh. a, they play Gary's Mod together. And Markiplier's actually played games with Tabuscus too. Oh really? Markiplier gets. Yeah, there's a cool special where they. Dude, he gets around. Something. Yeah. I don't. He's a super cool guy. Like, I think just, it's just looking at the videos that he's done. He looks like he's a super cool guy. Yeah. I'd love to meet him sometime. I. I sorry. No, it would be lame to just get to me. I'd like to, like, somehow cosmically be able to be that guy's friend to actually know him. <laughs> uh, it was, how but old, how old is he? Happen. He's like 28, right? Yeah, he's got like 10 on us. Yeah, he's got 10 years on us, so. I mean, we hang out with Randy, who's 60, and Jay, who's 75. Yeah, so, so it's not that like, doesn't mean anything yeah, whatsoever when it, it's just, when, it, when it comes in. I don't know, but, I feel like hanging out with much older, I was about to say, really fucking old people. <laughs> Much Randy older would than laugh you. at that. Yeah, people who are much older than you is easier than, say, like... People who are in that age yeah. gap that, like, is more palpable. Especially when you think about, like, young children. It's way easier to hang out with, say, a 12-year-old than a 9-year-old. There's a huge sort of... You grow so much mentally over the short period of time, which is, like, 30 years of your kind of growing life. And then you kind of, like, sort of plateau. Yeah, after about 25, though, like, that age gap doesn't matter. Yeah. Because, uh, like, you could be 70, and you could talk to anybody... Who's, like, 30. Yeah. Or 18. Who's, who's like, 25 and up, and you're good. <gasps> Dude! Phazon. What is that? Intense what? radiation detected. That, my friends, is Phazon. Intense radiation detected. Like, horrible shit detected. <laughs> Please don't touch that detected. <laughs> Not grammatically correct. Mm. Bad grammar detected. I wonder if it's gonna be Phazon that kills ya. Oh, fuck, dude. Wouldn't that be, like, freakily, like, almost canon? That would be. Is okay, that... before you say, I, I agree that it would be canon. What the fuck does canon mean? <laughs> okay, canon means canonical to the story, as in, like, that's how the story was supposed to go. So, like, in stories where there's multiple endings, mm -hmm. a canon canonical ending would be one that would be accepted in a sequel. So, like, this isn't how Mass Effect works, but imagine you played Mass Effect and it gave you two options for the ending of the first game. Yep. Um, the second game would take one of those two options and mm -hmm. then run with it to continue the story and ignore the other one. So the option that, the, like, is considered the one that, that we use as mm -hmm. our basis, that's the canonical one. Okay. So that canonical, would it would make sense storyline wise that, for Phazon to be the thing that finally killed you instead of yeah some other shit that you just like tripped. 
Power yes. surge detected. Well, I got stuck in lava. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Dead. And then the, you know, universe gets taken over by Phazon and all sorts of bad stuff. But if Phazon happens. killed you and the universe got taken over by Phazon, it would make at least some sense. Yeah. I love that whole everything about you, design-wise, is perfect to what it's supposed to be. Like your hands change. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Everything purple matches you now, which always made me happy. My favorite color when I was younger was purple. Until, you know... Mine was green. I and found then I out... found myself liking blue a little bit more, and then I think I went back to green. See, when I was younger, I didn't really under... Because nobody does. Nobody really understands that. You're a boy. Boys like these. And you're a girl. Girls like these. You just kind of accept it. Yeah. Uh, but my first favorite color was purple. And it was like that deep royal purple. But uh, then they're like, like, it's a girl's like, color! Like your and I was like, well, I'm your not... gun was deeper. Yeah. And... I'm not a girl, so I guess I can't, you know, like things ab- arbitrarily, so, oh well. Yeah. But, uh, you know, purple's still a nice color. Like that anthus look. Well, okay, so I'll say this about, like, gender rules. Um, they totally serve a purpose in a lot of contexts, but when it comes to arbitrary stuff like that, yeah, it's pointless. It it's It doesn't matter at all. Like... Yeah, we're designed differently, and we should enjoy those differences and come to know them so that we can work better as a harmonious society. I think trying to force everybody to be equal is just weird. Because we're not. Nobody's nobody's born equal. You were born differently, and you have different genetics, and that's what makes the world interesting and fun is all the differences between everybody. If we were all equal, it would be like those shitty communist cartoons where there's like every (laughs) character's exactly the same. There'd be no individuality or interest except for, you know... The huge group of people who are trying to be individual together, it's it, yeah. and it's like that kind of thing really annoys me. Um, let's so all like, be individuals together, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is kind of funny. Well, I never that's really that, thought of it like that, yeah. That's how pretty much every because like, I'm a sheep. No, I'm kidding. There's a fucking do you remember in high school there was a one of a kind club and yeah. it was like there was like an actual, yeah, that together. was the name of the club, it was one of a kind club, and it was. I'm a unique spirit. I'm one of a kind. So I'm going to be part of a club full of unique spirits who are all one of a kind, just like me. No. <laughs> That's not how that works. What, t- what was it like? Uh, it was basically all of the, like, um... I was friends with a couple of the kids. Like, I've got nothing against these guys. But it was, like, all of the kids who were in the crowd of people who were just like, I'm different. I'm going to be different with people who are also different. Mm. The, the kind of annoying ones. For the most part. It's like, you get the occasional people who are cool or just hanging out there because, you know, that was the the social environment that they enjoyed, what's up, whatever. And granted, and, I do prefer those people over, so yeah. just like, the, a oh, lot pussy jock guy. Yeah. And the girls who are like, I, but, I have one of those girls. But there's a lot of value to be found in those people if you look for it. Yeah. Like, you, it takes the same amount of effort to, fi- to yeah, find... Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. Cause like, I feel like I just have more patience for them because they're yeah. like... Well, I found some people who are super sporty jock kind of guys who totally have that sort of behavior and well, they yeah, were like, just are you thinking like of some of the like, most loyal and kind people well, I've met in name? their personal Fucking, lives. Uh, Kirk? Oh yeah, Kirk was super fun. But no, I'm not thinking of Kirk. I'm not thinking of anybody in particular. I've known a lot of girls who are of that preppy type too and we're just like, I've got parts! I want to talk about parts things! <laughs> And, and talk about like, the there's things. no real depth there, but you can you can sometimes was like you you don't really of, no it wasn't depth. you don't really pull depth out of a person, but but sometimes it just accidentally makes itself known, and and it's very pleasant. Yeah. But the thing is that when people are trying hard, really like just really really trying to force the image that they're deep, it ends up being a no, like like counterproductive. Yeah. Because then it's like, you are so obviously not interesting that you're trying to mask it harder than you are any other personality flaw or trait that you have. And trust me, there's more flaws than traits. Yeah. You should go get that fixed. Um, a lot of people aren't accepting of themselves in the way they are. And and part of that is just because you don't know who you are or what you want to be in high yeah. school. And you're probably not going to figure that out until you're like... Oh, fuck, these guys. 23. Fucking these guys. Oh, Invisibros... You, can, you, can, you can't fight them without thermal on. Yeah, I guess. No? You can't lock, but you can actually totally kill them still. Yeah, I guess you can. Fuck you. I think there were po- I don't really points where you. I was... Well, he's got friends. I think there were parts of this game, like this specific part that I just got sick of, so... I would... Like, this specific part of the game. So I just never switch to thermal vision. I would just keep kicking their ass while they were invisible. I just always have a missile charge and <laughs> let it loose there. 
like shoot man, up the or whatever. We're in the phase on mines, bro. We fucking crushed this game, or are crushing this game. Well, I bet everybody who's ever done a speed run of this ever would it's, the difference. It's like, like twice as fast. Like they're done already. Yeah, they were. Done they were done a few hours, hours ago. ago. Not a few. They were done like by the time our first. Session. Oh fuck! These guys, the elite. Me, I got a big nose. Me. <laughs> fuck this. Watch this. You don't even need thermal on, dude. You can just. You can just see. Oh, them. I can. Oh, yeah, fuck. they're purple, like bright purple. I thought that was kind of a cool, like, color code. No, he can only be oh, affected by that, purple. Yeah, that's why I just, like, impulse switch yeah. purple. I should really just trust my instincts more. Uh, this guy is, um, like, part of the color-coded squad. There's different colors. Oh, like, right, I forget. Yeah, so they all have their own. All right, let go of them. <laughs> yeah. Man, that really does eat up your missiles, but whatever. They're dead. All right, well... More things will be dead. <laughs> More things episode. will be dead. Next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.